Welcome back to the farm, guys. Today we are going to talk about quail. How you can incubate quail, hatch them out in any situation, like me, which is living in a camper. I actually had two incubators going here. What I did was I took off the doors here to underneath the TV and it just so happened it actually will fit these uh, styrofoam incubators inside and I had to make kind of a, adjustments to get the uh, cables, power cables, like up to where the power is back here. My last hatch I had uh, about half hatch um, each time as long as I keep an eye on the humidity and all that and I just have to rotate this around just so I can actually see what's going on with the temperature and also with uh, make sure that everything's running properly. As you can see all the quail eggs in there. I finally got uh, quail egg turners. You just order these, you can get these on Amazon. So you always, when you actually get your uh, little giant, it comes with the chicken egg turner, but you can get the, it's called quail rails. So this is what I ended up getting and it holds 120 eggs. I'm going to show you some of our three week old quails and uh, take you over here. As you can see here, this is our couch and then right next to the couch I have a tote that I'm using as a brooder. Oh, everybody's kind of quiet right now. What I did is I went ahead and I bought one of those uh, heater Instead of having the heat lamp, um, I got the the heat plate. But there's a heat plate, so you can see they're standing on top of it. They actually, uh, the heat plate is off. After three weeks, they don't really need the heat. Um, since we've had 90 degree temperatures, and it's been sometimes 80 in here, they don't need it. So I have a mix in here right now um, because my, uh, I have a couple of my roosters are Rosetta and then they mixed with uh, Faro. So you'll be able to tell, oh, they're just flying up into my hand here. This is definitely uh, a male. You can tell because there's nothing here and there's more of like a gold. This is an Italian, which is, they become white. It still has a little bit of yellow left from being a baby. Um, but it's looking to be a male. I'm trying to see from the bottom part. This one actually might, oh, this one wants to get away. My son has actually tamed one of them. But I'm not seeing any bumps down here. So that's, that's a female. But like I said, it's mixed with a pharaoh. Rosetta and pharaoh, so that's the coloration you're going to get. Looks got it like a pharaoh head, but the Rosetta chest. Make sure to separate your hens from your roosters around six weeks because that's when they're actually fully matured. So you're going to want to make sure to uh, take care of that. And you can even make your own cages if you want to. And I'll put that in another video. But uh, all these guys actually need to be in cages outside. Everybody needs to be separated. Um, but like I said, they're not fully to the maturity yet, but it will eventually get there. I'm going to take you up to look at the adults to do a little bit of comparison and let's go see that. Alrighty, so I'm up here with the quail cage, which I need to uh, definitely add on the next one here, right next to it. Um, we're still working on the cedar barn, so hoping um, we're going to attach the rabbits um, and the quail right next to that there. Supposed to have a bunch of storms come through soon, and supposed to go back into the 70s, 80s, which would be great. Okay, so let me show you what I was talking about with the, with the Rosetta. And you can see that he's really pretty colors, um, but I've had a lot of males that didn't do too well um, transitioning here and and then having them in a smaller space they tend to take each other out so that's why I'm really big on separating your males you want one male 
to five females. Here's my Italians here. This is a male, it's a big boy, but you can see on his chest how it's kind of a gold. Now this one always makes me think of female, but they turn them upside down and they just go completely chill. Uh, your quail can start producing eggs at six weeks old. Now, obviously they're not gonna be fertile unless you have a male with them. Um, if you want to hatch them out, you need to hatch them out within seven days. Um, that's the fertility stays up and you want to keep them in a cool environment. I have about nine hens right now, nine to ten hens, and everybody is, is laying every single day, especially longer days, more light. Now, if you want to just go ahead and, and say you're in city limits, you can have them in a shed or even have them in your house if you want to. The roosters don't make a lot of noise. There's no way of anybody even finding out. It just, it's a random sound that's just loud. Um, and it's not even that loud at all either. They're just gonna mistake it for some nearby, I don't know, bird in the tree or something. Their uh, eggs have double the protein and they also have double um, protein in their meat. I appreciate you come back to the farm and learning a little bit more about quail. I will definitely fill you in on the next hatch to see how those turners are and give you an update on that. Take care and keep smiling. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you soon.